you guys welcome back to my channel it is your girl B with two E's that's only not how it goes but whatever we're sticking with it because we're gonna try to get a video done in one take so yeah welcome back to my channel it's been a while so of course I started vlogmas or my rendition of vlogmas which was the 12 days of Christmas and I made it to day six and then that was it I honestly haven't done much because I've been focusing on school um, I'll give you guys an update of that in a few. I got three of my grades. I'm waiting for one more. So once I get that, I will give you guys a final, you know, thought on my first semester in my master's um, program. So yeah. But today's video. Today's video wasn't even planned. So I am six days shy of making it to four months locked and I'm excited. I'm so happy. I'm looking forward to it. This journey has been great. Um, in this video, I will address some things that I wish would be a little different, the things that I do enjoy, and yeah, just give you guys an update. So like I said, this video was not planned, but how did we get here? So on Sunday, which was um, December 18th, I had my retie um, out in Long Island, so you know, I did the whole trip. Oh, it was draining, or oh, whatever. I went, I did it, so she retied my hair. My retie process takes about three hours, so yeah, um, that's not bad at all. That includes a wash and like a 10 minute dry, and then she jumps right into it. So, with this retie, and once she finished, she asked me how did I want my hair to be done. Um, and I was like, you know, just Bantu knotted because I was going to throw on my hoodie because it was really cold. So she, she Bantu knotted my hair, but you know how Bantu knots are normally like round and like on top of your head? The way she did it, it was like kind of hanging. So it looked like a cute little style. So I say all that to say that I kept the Bantu knots in my hair for two and a half days or three, almost three days. So when she did it, which was on Sunday, I kept it in Monday. I went to work with it Tuesday, Wednesday, and then midway, halfway through Wednesday, they started to like unravel, so then I just took them down. And when I tell you, I was in love with the look. Now granted, I think it makes me look a little younger, especially when I have on my glasses like now, but I just love it. I love the volume, I love the texture, and it made me fall in love with my micro locks again. So prior to her Bantu knotting my hair and me actually wearing that as a style for a couple of days, when she tied my hair, how it would normally go is that she would Bantu knot each section as she finished it. And then towards the end, she will, you know, like loosen it out or she'll sit me under the dryer for a couple of minutes, loosen it out. Um, it would look cute, um, but it wouldn't last long and it would still look very thin. Whereas this time, I think because I just left it for however many days, it was able to like really get the knots and get the shape that it needed to get. And I am just super loving it. Like, I love it. And honestly, I think the Vance knots are a style within itself, so I have to figure out how to do it, how she did it. Um, to make it stay but I, I think I have a good an idea but once this starts to fall I'll try to attempt to do the bantu knots but yeah I'm loving the volume that it's giving it's looking so much thicker um and I think the main thing is that like I think the main thing is that in the beginning stages or when she would first do my reties I would want to retain my limb um and I don't know why. I, I, I do like length, like most girls do. However, because my locks aren't mature yet, it still looked very thin and slinky, which I've said a ton of time in my other videos. Um, and you know, I would do my hand test and it's like, you would see all the light passing through my hair. Whereas now the curls are a little bit tighter, but it looks thick and it looks full because you're not seeing all that light being trans, you know? Um, I wanna say transposed, I hope that's the right word. But you don't see the light passing through my hair and I love that. I love that it has shape. I love that it has volume and I think it frames my face nicely. And this is kind of day two of me having my twist out i mean twist out of me having my locks uh loosen out but i really do love it as short as it is i feel like little shirley temple um and it's so cute 
like I said, I do feel childish. <laughs> like, I can't. If I was to go out, I would not be able to wear my glasses. Like, no. And got a beat face with the earrings just so, you know, it could give me a little bit more age. But I still love it. I think it looks so cute. And this just made me fall in love with my micro locks all over again, if I'm being super honest. Like, I love it. Um, and even while I was getting my hair retwisted, I, um was like I need to get claw clips because how she had it clawed up as she was working on each section it looked so cute so I'm like I'm officially in that stage where I'm ready to try the styles and things like that like just wearing it freshly retired and walking out like that that it ain't for me no more like we gotta we gotta get some cute styles going you know what I mean but yeah um so I'll be four months in six days and I'm happy about that I'm definitely committed to this decision I feel really good about it um and as I progress I get more and more excited with how it continues to go um but I wouldn't be honest if I didn't say I have some concerns um and I I don't know if they're necessarily actual concerns, but it's things that you're just not sure of, especially to me because I'm in the beginning stages and your lots could go either way. Like you can't really predict where to go, how to turn out, how it'll look. Um, so yeah, that's worrisome a little bit, but I'm trusting the process. So when I say that, I want to say that the biggest concern for me this whole time has been the texture not the texture has been the size of my locks and I wanted them to get thicker my hair isn't locking as much as I would like it I'll do a close-up towards the end but my hair they're not locking as quick as I thought they would um, but it takes time so I have to trust that process um, the size wise that kind of plays a role into it because once your hair starts to lock the size can look a little different like I've seen people whose they started out theirs were smaller than mine's but then the locks itself would begin to thicken and that's what I'm waiting for um but I don't know if that would happen and then the second thing is I may not even realize that it's happening because I'm seeing myself every day I'm looking at my hair every day so any little change I wouldn't be able to notice because I'm constantly looking at it to see if I see any difference where someone else who sees me maybe once a week or once every couple of weeks they'll look and they'll say oh your hair looks really good um it's flourishing it's getting thicker all this other stuff for me it's like it's not doing it quick enough so I have to keep both of those things in mind but I'm not even locked yet but I thought of combining <laughs> them um in case I want them to be thicker but that was before this. Like this, I feel good. I feel like it's giving it some shape. I feel like it's giving it something that was missing before. So, I don't know if the, the, the size really matters um, for right now. I like it, I enjoy it. I think it looks so good, if I'm being honest, as of today. Um, another thing is the method. So, my lactician uses the four point method and i want to get to a two point um rotation method when it comes to interlocking my locks because i feel like with the three point and four point rotation it makes it a lot skinnier in my opinion like um the women that i follow and this may be the issue but the women that I follow, they tend to do a two-point rotation and a three-point rotation. And I can see the difference. I think people who use a three-point rotation is a lot more slender in size compared to two-point rotation. Um, but when I spoke with my loptician, she said, you know, um, for right now, because it's in the beginning stages, it's best to go ahead and move forward with the four-point rotation. And then from there... We could pull it back once my hair actually locks. So hearing that, part of me is like, mm, I hear what you're saying, but I want, I want what I want. <laughs> but then another part of me is like, well, she's been doing this, so she knows best. So I'm going to do it 
Well, I did it already, clearly. I did it this retie. Um, it's depending on how strong I feel about it. Next retie, then we'll revisit that conversation. But for right now, I'll stick with the four point rotation. And I was shocked because I thought she was doing three point. So when I found out it was four, I was like, ooh, you unlocked a whole nother level. But <laughs> I'm going to, we'll see, we'll see. I'm open to continuing with the four point method. Um, and yeah, slowly, gradually move towards three or two just to see if I see a difference. Like that's the main thing. Like how I want it to look, like I said, the woman that I follow, um, they either use a three point or two point and two point is the women that I truly enjoy seeing their size and the growth and the change of it all. So yeah, we'll see, we will see how that goes in um, a month or six weeks actually. So yes, um, there's that. So yeah, um, that, I think that's actually it. Out of everything, those are the only two concerns that I have is that I worry that my hair isn't gonna get much thicker um, or I should say my locks isn't gonna get much thicker and then the other is I want two point rotation but trust the process, listen to my loctician because like I said, she has more experience but if I do feel that I'm very passionate about it, then we will re, you know, revisit the situation. But yeah, like I said, I'm loving my locks. I feel I look good. Um, I'm in the compliment phase, so it doesn't look as awkward as it did before. So when people see me, you know, they're like, oh yeah, it's so cute. And I'm like, mm -hmm, thank you. <laughs> but no, I'm really loving it. Like I said, I, I'm i committed to this life. Like I barely wear wigs. The only time I wear like wigs is when I um go out and I want to elevate my look a little bit because again it can give a little bit childish <laughs> because it's not mature um yet so like I do wear my wigs and sometimes I just want to look different so like when I went out the other day wore my wig and I was like I look so cute um but outside of that like no nah, I'm it's just locks out oh so I'm in the New York area in case no one knows and it's been cold this past week and what day was it? It was one of these days. I had to run to my mom's house um, and I just ran outside because I'm just used to doing that. And like I said, I used to wear wigs um, or I would wear hats or even if I like had like my hair out, my hair is thick at the roots. So, you know, there was some warmth. Going outside after a fresh retie in the cold. When I tell you my hair was so cold, when I got to my mom's house, I took a hat because I, I could not, I could not. I now have my hood on all the time because I don't particularly care for hats. I prefer hoodies, so them drones is on anytime I walk outside because if you're in New York, your scalp is going to be freezing. <laughs> so yeah, that's the only adjustment that is super funny to me. Outside of that, everything is pretty normal. But yeah you guys this was just a quick little video so i hope you enjoyed it and you feel good being updated on my macro like journey um i'm gonna give you guys a close-up at the end of this video but yeah thank you for joining if you haven't already definitely subscribe to my channel um there is literally something on here for everyone i'm talking about my school courses i talk about um fashion my style my wardrobe my new apartment organizing that and my marker lock journey so yeah definitely tune in to more videos also if you do enjoy my micro lock videos go ahead and check out my micro lock playlist so you can see the entire journey with me i have a video my first free time my first three months my first six weeks and then also the process um up until i got my locks so yeah go ahead and check all that out i'll leave it linked up here up here don't forget to head over to my micro lock instagram it is live love hmm it is live locked b or live locked underscore b so go ahead and check me out there as well and yeah thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye